Hello friends, we return with another ink review, this time of uh, a French ink, and in fact the very first ink that I was ever interested in uh, that got me into ink as a medium again, as an adult, and that is uh, this Jacques Herbine, uh and the color is the Emerald de Chevour, which is a green with a green shimmer, which is kind of cool. Uh, <coughs> very deep green nice bottle uh, and I love the green shimmer which is not something I see very often <clears throat> kind of a teal color uh, very easy uh, very liquid it moves very well I have not had any luck with it in uh, in fountain pens however because the shimmer always clogs everything but um, it works well with this uh, glass pen. So as you can see, it's very wet and goopy. So you have to kind of be aware of that. But it's a lot of fun to use. <clears throat> it works pretty well with these, uh, with an illustrator nib, if you have an illustrator nib. <clears throat> And I've had some look, luck with a calligraphy nib as well. <clears throat> as long as you're aware that it's pretty goopy ink and you need to be kind of careful with, uh, with the placement, you can get some really nice fine lines with it, which is nice. Um, but it's funny, uh, even though this was one of the first inks I've bought uh, for calligraphy, I don't actually use it very often, even though it's a beautiful color and I love the shimmer. It doesn't work well with almost any tool that I have. So I mostly just look at it. I guess that's, that's something. But it does work well if you paint with it. Uh, so if you wanted to do uh, illuminated capitals or uh, painting with it, it would be great. And you can use it with almost any tool as long as you're aware that it it's very uh, viscous. Um, doesn't flow great. Uh, beautiful color though. Anyway, have you had experiences with this company and this color? Uh, let me know. I've bought a few inks from them and you know maybe it's just this particular series and maybe their non-shimmer inks are better. But let me know anyway.